All right. Hey guys. Welcome to me having a few beers and deciding to fight a terrible monster. Um, I don't know how many of you know what Devil Joe is like, but he's a pure pain in the ass from the old days. And by pure pain in the ass, I mean he is just... He's like the last thing you want to run into in a random hunt, and of course I'm deciding to hunt him for fun. And I've had a few beers to try and help me get ready for this, because I've maybe fought him twice now. Oh god, I... Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh, and it's fucking raining, it's gloomy, it's nighttime. This is, this is awful. This is a terrible place. You never want to find yourself here. And to make it even better, I'm going to try and capture him. And in fact, that might actually make it easier, but... It's, uh, oh, you know what? what? What's even better is the fact that I haven't tracked him enough to know where he starts. If he starts anywhere in particular, that is, in this map. Uh, yeah. Again, it's, uh, it's our great friend, the Devil Pickle, the Evil Joe. Pickle Joe. I'm going to call him Pickle Joe. He looks like a giant... Pickle, so I sit. Uh, wow, yeah, can't talk. He looks like a giant pickle Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's kind of like Anjanath, except for he's much meaner than Anjanath. Uh, what do they say about him? He's the uh, he's the monster that breaks the food chain. Well, we're gonna make Vince meat out of him today, all right? He won't be our problem for us at all. I will say, I like that they've kept his main theme for his music. As that, that, that was kind of the, the thing that really stuck with him. It's like, here's this villainous, awful sound. Ooh, oh, I got tracks for him, okay. Yeah, this villainous, awful sound for this creature that hates all life just because he wants to eat it. Alright, we know where he is now. So, I hope you guys are having a lovely day. I'm sure I'm about to have a blast fighting this guy. You know, in all honesty, Monster Hunter World made him just a little bit easier than he used to be. If only because you have a lot more tools at your disposal, like the rock study mantle that lets you get a lot of extra hits in to begin with, and just just a, a lot more available to you, you know. Uh, I'm really hoping I get a couple rides on him and I can get his tail off. Uh, there's a Kulu probably fleeing for his life from from the Devil Joe. Um. be honest, I think we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Yeah, he, he probably already had a, uh, a bout with him. Seeing as how he dropped some material already. Oh, look, he's going exactly where we started. Where I thought he might be, but I was wrong. Anyway, like I said, I've, I've had a couple of drinks, you know. It, it helps... Loosen me up. There he is. There he is. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. Look at him try and get past that stuff. And I forgot to put my rock study mantle on, so he's probably about to slap me away. Right. Nope. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. No. See what I've done? See what I've done already? I've hidden. Oh, my God. I'm so sloppy. Ow. Oh, he stomped me. I wonder if we... Oh, no. See, you could have been much scarier than that, buddy, but... You didn't do it. Now, what we're really looking out for is this dragon attack that he likes to do, because that's going to hurt, and he's about to hit me with it. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. See? He's going to do it again. Oh yeah, Beyblade. Let's see if we can do that again. Nope. 
No, we can't. We're going to sloppy as all hell. So, even if you get him to flinch, he likes to uh, basically tell you no, you're not allowed. Oh, this might be bad. Yeah. Okay, so now he's swinging a great Jagras around. Uh, I didn't know he likes to do that. But that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I don't want to hit the Jagras, I want to hit the Devil Joe. Well, if we can get him to get knocked over, I might be able to get his tail off, but I don't think it's going to be that easy. Ah, oh, see, that's the worst place to be. Yeah, because he backs up right before he does it. And you see what he did right there? He, he'll try to combo your ass. If you get stuck in one of his attacks, he is the fucking combo king. And uh, I'll, have an, uh, I'll be having a toast to my own life tonight if I keep taking hits like that. But, uh, oh, of course. Real nice. I missed that opening. So he's gonna run. Yeah, I'll, I'll be having a toast to this guy. If I capture him, I, may, I might even get to learn a little bit about him. Probably not. I'm pretty sure the only thing about him is the fact that he uh, he likes to eat everything and jump around like a big silly pickle. Uh, see, now he's gonna hit me. Oh, no, he missed. I guess I countered that somehow. Oh, give me your tail, please. So, one thing I've learned in this game is that the dragon attack stuff is useful against almost everything, except for a go figure, a fucking Kirin. Ow. See, that That hurts. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Remember what I said about that combo king stuff? That's part of it. Yeah. No, I, that's okay. I was nowhere near you, but... And I'm gonna get hit again. I'm probably knocked out now. Yep. Wait a minute. Oh. I guess I got saved. As you can see, he's not as easy as anything I've probably fought so far. He likes to knock down trees and... This is actually perfect. I didn't think he would do that. I thought he wasted that vine trap. Not that he stayed in it very long, because, you know, he's Devil Joe and he does whatever the fuck he wants. And he's mad again, so his muscles are bulging like a fucking bro at the gym. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, he just becomes a wall of fucking meat that rushes at you. That sounds about right for him. He's so tall that you can't hit anything but his fucking legs. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Okay. Yeah. yeah he's a he's a lovely fucking customer. I can't even get my damn stamina back. That's how bad he is. I would not... If I were wearing less armor than this, I would be fucked. I would be absolutely fucked. You'd probably one-shot me. I really wanted to break that tree and get stuck in another mine trap. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, come on. No, no, let me hit his tail. Yeah. So what's great about this guy is that he's going to start invading my other quest as well. And he's... might hit me? No. Ah, jeez. Oh my god, I didn't get hit by it. Well, I'm going to get hit by this one. Yep. He's like the guy in old Mortal Kombat that just... just uses single punches. Single punches. Single punches get you stuck in the punch combo, so you can't block against it. And uh, then he puts you in a nice regular combo afterwards. 
Yeah, get hit by his tail, because, you know, that's, that's what we do. I'm not moving. Wrong answer. I'm wondering if they change the color of the, uh, the, the damage, because I'm seeing blue numbers now, and I never saw those before. And I'm thinking maybe it's just because he's not weak to me. But he is weak to dragon, so hopefully we're doing lots of damage to him. There we go, I got his tail. Nice, okay. Ah, oh, the ball's in my fucking court now, you big fucking pickle damn. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you wiggle around. You get your ass kicked, and then he stands up and I can't hit him. Oh no, I actually hit him for a lot there. And then we'll just dodge under his legs. And I'll miss again. No. I've never seen him use another monster as a mace before, or maybe I just missed it if he has before. Oh, he's about to... Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, Train. Oh, yes. I love when he's tired, and I I love it when I swing at nothing. Yeah. You know, I like the way he used the sound. He made, like, this weird bah noise every time he did something. And that was a good way of knowing what his tell was, that he was about to stomp on you or jump or hit you with some dragon breath, but... I will admit, I do have a love for this guy, just because he is a resilient fucking curmudgeon turd. He's like, I see your ways. I see your ways. And I don't like them, so I'm going to do my way like Finn. My way! Oh, hey, a basil juice, another fucking invader. Wonderful. God, I no, just let me carve the tail, man. Just let me carve the tail. Go away. Just let me carve the tail. I don't care if that's about to explode. God damn it. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm gonna have to do this my way. Okay. You know what? You've been a real asshole. That's right, you leave. That's why dung bombs are important, ladies and gentlemen. Use dung bombs. Get rid of your boy. Get that fuck boy out of here. Alright. Now back to a back to our devil Joe problem. I'm really hoping we can find him again real quickly. I don't like when he's off by himself for a long period of time. Plotting. Getting ready. Starting the apocalypse. Speaking of apocalypse, it's fucking cold outside. I hope you know how cold it is out there. Oh, yep. See, that's that counter shit he does when you hit him and he flinches. He's like, no, I don't want to get hit. He's about to do it again. Yeah, and he hit me. He hit me that time. I'm surprised we haven't gotten like a defense down yet. Or if we have, I haven't noticed it because I'm not looking. I'm not looking at my stats. And he's mad again. Oh, look at you. Look at how pretty you are when you're red and mad. Ow. Ow. No, 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 no. I refuse. Ah, fuck. Oh, please interrupt him. Uh, no, let me get him. Ah, fuck you. Infinite combo? Infinite combo? Oh, it's not infinite combo, boys. I almost got infinite combo, though. I wonder if he performed that stop more than a few times, if it would... Oh my god, I'm so lucky I didn't get hit by that. I'll tell ya. After uh, a long day of working on machines, nothing, nothing's better than going home and causing yourself unnecessary stress by fighting a fucking evil giant dinosaur. Man, that one was short range. Is he already limping? No, he can't be. Uh, see, this is this is why they need G rank. This is why they need G rank. Cause I'm just gonna capture him now. 
I feel like I haven't talked about my day at all. And I probably won't, because I like talking about this pickle man. Oh, oh, no, he went up here. Okay. So he's going to fall asleep. We're going to trap him. And then we're going to trank him. Because that's what he deserves. Again, I love I love this guy, but he can be a real pain in anyone's ass, especially when he shows up with a fucking basil juice, basil guy, sir. However you pronounce that guy's name, I'm wondering if it are uh, well, it'll ever be nice enough where I won't get invaded by either one of those guys. Probably not. I'm not good enough for that. I don't deserve nice things. Oh, that's right, you go to sleep. Oh, look at how, look at, oh, stop playing the fucking drums. You're gonna wake him up. You're gonna wake him up, Fizzbiz. A cat named Fizzbiz. Oh, no, go back. Come on. Okay, we got him. We got him. And back to sleep for you. Fucking cat almost woke him up. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what it's like to fight a devil, Joe, if you have a lot of gear and a lot of experience and you're maybe slightly drunk. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I will, of course, come out with more. I am taking suggestions uh, if you want me to do challenges or if you want me to start doing arena quests where I'm not overpowered. I haven't done any of them so far, so I, I would honestly be willing to start because you get some pretty sweet weapons from those tokens, but... You know, it's really up to you guys. What you want to see, I'd be happy to do any of it because I love this game. I love making these videos. And, uh, yeah, I will hopefully be coming out with more every single day. Oh, yeah, I'm to rank up. Nice. All right, guys, hope you have a lovely day. I will see you next time. Enjoy.